Hey everybody, Galusia here, and today I'm showing you my update video from my last live stream where I showed you uh, 80 different Pokemon boosters being open. Uh, the majority was Rubble Clash, but there was some Sword and Shield, some Darkness Ablaze, and a tiny bit of uh, Vivid Voltage. And I wanted to just kind of show you how that affected my collection. And, and then actually show you the book and kind of leaf through it and show you some of my favorite cards that we got out of it. Uh, as well as, um, you know, just the totality of it. And then I have some announcements for some upcoming streams as well. So first of all, obviously you can see that Rebel Clash is the largest in terms of completion at 68%. Um, I had a fair amount of Sword and Shield and Darkness Ablaze to open, so those got close to 50%. But I'm actually, I mean, I only had eight booster packs for Vivid Voltage, and we already got to 27%. 55 cards. That's out of 80 cards, I got 55. So that's not too bad. Like, obviously, that means there were some copies in there, but not a ton. Plus, like, the way that it counts the completion is like these little red icons means that I have that card. And then if it's a yellow icon like this, that means that I have the reverse hollow. So if I have one where like here, I have both, that only counts as one card. Like that, that means I have this card. If you have the reverse, that's one. If you have the regular, that's one. But if you have both, that's still just one. So 55 out of 80, there's obviously some that are technically duplicates, but they're not. Like, obviously, we want to get the reverses of anything that we can. So, really, when you break it down, like, I, I didn't do too bad, I would say. But, yeah. So, Rebel Clash is getting really close. Uh, I only need one common card and two uncommons. And then everything after that, obviously, is the rares. And even the rares, I'm getting really close. I only need eight more. Uh, and eight of the ultras it really just comes down to like the secret cards and stuff like that that's where my collection is really taking a hit especially with like the rainbows and stuff because we only have the alina and we don't have any of these other ones you can just see it's a whole bunch of blanks here at the end of my collection so that's something to be worked on so let me transition really quick to the actual binder so you can see how i store my collection and for anyone that is like an avid collector or something if you have tips or you want to suggest like how you collect your cards and store them i would love to see that in the comments down below okay so this is the best setup i could come up with in short notice to showcase the cards and how i keep uh keep tabs on all of them so i have a binder uh, obviously and I have them organized by their uh, type first and obviously a numerical order because that's what would make the most sense. And then if I have like a reverse, then that's what is facing up. And then if I have the reverse and the non-reverse, then I just slide the non-reverse behind it so that it still shows that it's there. The ultimate goal, of course, would be to have all of everything so that as you're flipping the pages, it's solid on this side, it's solid on that side. Now, the this first grouping of cards is Sword and Shield, like just the base Sword and Shield. So this isn't my largest collection, uh, like I said, it's still in the... I think this one was, what was it, like 42%. But we did get some good ones out of this, um, considering how many I had to open. So all of the Sword and Shield ones that I opened were the cards that I got from Walmart. And they came in those packs where they had a random bonus card. So I'll show you all those bonus cards at the end. But... That was a lot of cards from the previous generation for the most part, um, like shinies and like a couple EX cards and stuff like that um, that we got as like the quote unquote bonus cards. But um, all of my sword and shield cards, that's where they came from. So 
I'm not too concerned about the previous generation. Um, like, obviously, if I get stuff, like, great. But I'm not going to keep hardcore track of it and, like, have everything have its own uh, binder like these do. So, obviously, here's, like, my one, like, rarer card from the back of the deck, if you will, um, for that. And then we... I always leave, like, that's how many I will need if I actually complete the set. So, it's, like, there and ready to go. So, after Sword and Shield base is Rubble Clash. And, like I said in the stream, and maybe you missed it, um, when I got back into Pokemon cards, which was super recently, um, the way that it kind of happened, it was really by, like, half and chance, um... The, I was in Target, and I was talking to my wife about how I used to collect cards. They're super hot right now. Like, a lot of the people that I watch on YouTube that are doing, um, that do, like, gaming videos normally. Look at all the reverses I have on this sheet. Holy crap. Um, they are doing a lot of these Pokemon openings right now, and I was like, that's a pretty cool thing and i i didn't know that that was going on that people were opening cards for other people's amusement um so i was definitely interested in that this is a solid page because we have the v and the v max for that guy there and a lot of hollows i mean if we literally just had this one card like that would probably be my best sheet in the collection because it would be full and have a bunch of cool cards on it uh but yeah so i actually Really, really like this VMAX. I really like the artwork on that. For some of the more rare cards, like VMAXs and stuff like that, just so that you know, um, in the card opening, like they were sleeved. And then I put that sleeve in here so that they're technically double sleeve. Um, but for like the regular Vs and below, they're not double sleeved. Although I'm thinking about changing that and maybe going with a double sleeve. But as of right now, I'm not. But anyway. So, yeah, so I was just sharing with her about how I was thinking about getting into it, and we just happened to be in Target while we were talking about it, so I was like, oh, well, uh, I know Target, like, I've seen their trading card section by the registers, like, every time that we go into Target, like, let me just go look, and they had a bunch of uh, Rubble Clash, and so I was like, oh, they have a bunch here, like, maybe I should just get them, so this book that actually they're all in, I bought this at Target, the binder, and it came with a hundred of these inserts. Um, so that was a good way to kind of like, you know, get me started. And then a whole bunch of empty ones, but of course my current crown jewel for Rebel Clash. She's so shiny. Um, and then Darkness of Blaze is what we jump into next. But yeah, so it was like 11 or 12 boosters i just opened them in my living room i didn't do anything for youtube or with them or anything like that um there's my charizard v max obviously that's the crown jewel so far of this set and um i just really enjoyed it and i decided you know what like i'm gonna do one of these live streams like all these other guys are doing um and gals and just see how it goes and see if i like it um we ended up having like 100 plus viewers for that stream. If you were one of them, then I thank you. And I think it went really well. Um, it was definitely a lot of fun for me and it seemed like everyone was like really into it. And it was definitely, it was definitely really cool um, opening 80 boosters. So here's the plans moving forward. So I have two live streams that are going to be coming up here in the somewhat near future. I've got a plan for another Rebel Clash because I really want to finish the Rebel Clash, the Rebel Clash set. Um, so I have 36 more boosters so far. If I can find a few more, then great. Um, but I have like a full box of boosters for rebel clash and that's at like 68 percent. i'm really close to finishing that so um i wanted to open at least one more box worth 
before I try to start just like buying singles to finish it out. Cause definitely a big part of, I really like, really, I know this is just a common card, but I like the artwork on that one. Um, it's, uh, the hunt, you know, like a big part of the, the fun of this is hunting for the stuff. But at some point, I mean, you're, you can only buy so many damn boosters, right? So if I really want to complete the set at some point, like I need to start buying some singles. So one more box. So that's going to be a live stream of the Rebel Clash. That's another really good one for this. I really like the art on that. Um, and then I'm hoping to add some boosters to that, like at least 14, because I want to have a 50 booster live stream the last one was 80 and that was a lot honestly um and i wouldn't mind doing uh, around 50 for the next one uh this should be vivid right uh, yeah okay so yeah this is vivid this is okay yeah this is vivid voltage so this will be the smallest one out of it but yeah so um i'm gonna try to add on to that so we should i'm hoping to have that up within a week of this video being posted that's my goal um, to do that live stream. And I really like, so this is the probably the best one out of my set so far. Got that Pikachu V Max, but I really like these two cards because it shows this guy swimming with the bird diving in the background and the card right before him, it shows the bird eating the fish. <laughs> so like these two cards tell a story in reverse order that I got I drew these in the same booster during the live stream. So like I was able to like notice that like right away. And then, so now it's like a favorite thing of mine. I really hope I get the reverse hollows for both of those. Um, but yeah, I mean, worst case scenario. So I haven't collected anything yet for champions path. That's the smallest card set out of any of the ones for sword and shield. There's only 80 cards uh, in the set, including like the secret cards and stuff. There's only 80 cards and there's some really, cool like v maxes and stuff in that one so if i can't i'm gonna try to find some more cards in the wild um before this video even posts tomorrow for me i'm recording this late at night so tomorrow morning before i go to work i plan on hitting up a whole bunch of stores that typically carry uh pokemon cards hoping to find some if i don't find any in the wild by tomorrow so that I can get ready for another stream in time. Uh, I will end up ordering them. There's a reputable source online right now that's selling uh, Champion Path cards for um, only for like like six seventy five a pack, which isn't like dramatically more than retail. So like I could live with that. Um, these are all of the previous generation bonus cards that i got from walmart so this sheet i'm saving for promo cards and that is obviously psyduck from the detective pikachu movie and then these are all like the ex cards that i got and then all these uh shiny cards and whatnots from the last generation so that completes that. Um, so I pre-ordered two boxes for the new Battle Styles collection. I don't know how quickly I'm going to get them. The retailer claims that they will have them shipping out on the 19th of March. But then I don't know how long the shipping is going to take. So, I mean, I would hope before the end of March, obviously, that I have them in hand. But I obviously don't know exactly when I'm going to get them. So... Um, but that's okay. I just, at some point I will have them. It's two whole boxes. So that's 72 boosters. Um, so I really hope that we can get a lot of that new collection done. And I don't play the game. I used to when I was young, but I haven't played it since I got back into it. But I do know that the new set is changing a bunch for... Uh, well, not changing a bunch, but it's adding things to the actual game. So I was thinking about looking into the actual game itself and kind of seeing what that's about. So to kind of recap uh, everything off here, I just wanted to show off. So this 
box is all of my current duplicates for Darkness of Blaze, um, Sword and Shield, and Vivid Voltage. So not a ton for those, but since Rebel Clash was my biggest one, that box is much larger. So I have some of these old school cardboards for that. So these are all just energy cards. And then these are all my, these I actually separate by common and uncommon. So these are all my uncommons. These are all my common cards. So I have like 150 uncommon copies. Not 100% sure what I'm going to do with my copy cards yet. My wife tells me I should just hold on to them for now because Pokemon is so hot. You never know what's going to happen down the road. And even common and uncommon cards could start having some sort of value. These are all of my copied cards that are special in some sort of way. We got crazy ridiculous with these Pidgeot EX cards. So I have four of them total. So I have three extras of those. But then I got a lot of uh, like uh, copy reverse hollows. I have a fair amount of those. But then even just like uh, regular rare cards, there's a fair amount of those. Um, there's even like a couple of V's in here, I think. Um, you know, these are all rare cards. They're all worth at least a couple bucks each. But, you know, it's not like I'm like desperately hurting for money or whatever so i'm not totally sure i'm gonna do all these extras i just i got a bunch of these vivid voltage uh sleeves from the box that i opened on the stream because i actually opened a battle box that came with the eight boosters along with a bunch of other stuff so the sleeves that i my wife bought for me i'm leaving that well enough alone there's the two v's these are my v my V copies. Um, I'm using those for myself, and then for all these copies, I'm using up these Vivids. So I may end up selling these. I may not. I haven't made up my mind yet. But yeah, so there we go. So there's everything that came from the stream. So uh, hopefully you guys uh, enjoy this cap, because I know I mentioned you know that I might do it during the live stream, and it seemed like at least a few people were interested in seeing uh, the results of, you know, what that was. So, uh, so keep an eye out for those next streams. If you're not already subscribed, especially the bell icon, because with live streams, um, since I'm not a larger YouTuber, I don't have the ability to like, kind of like premiere and like broadcast an upcoming live stream, uh, like some of the more popular channels can that you may watch. You have to have at least a thousand subscribers to be able to do that. So when I go live, it's a surprise to everybody. <laughs> I, can't, I can't be like, oh, I'm going live in 30 minutes. Um, so uh, having that little bell icon clicked and having you know your settings set up on your phone or whatever so that you actually get like notifications from you know YouTube and stuff would be the best way to find out about those upcoming streams. Um, I'm starting to work on getting social medias set up because I'll be honest with you, like I'm not the biggest social media guy, but I want more ways to be able to reach out to you guys and let you know like when stuff is coming up, especially stuff like live streams. So, uh, I will be doing that, but probably not in time for like the next stream. So just keep an eye out for it. It will be popping up here soon. Uh, it'll probably, it's either gonna be this Tuesday or next Tuesday. So, I mean, just keep your eye out on a Tuesday, honestly. If I get the cards in time, it'll be this Tuesday. If I don't, it'll be the following Tuesday. So we'll just, we'll see what happens. And then the other one will happen on, as soon as I get them, as soon as they show up in the mail, because I got two boxes pre-ordered. So thanks everybody. Uh, comment below, like I said, uh, for anyone that is a collector, uh, or even if you just have a thought, like you're not a collector, but you've seen like how I keep my cards. How would you keep your cards? Like, I know, I don't feel like leafing through to see it, but there's some valuable cards in here, like that Charizard V Max can easily sell for like ninety to a hundred dollars, and I just have it in here with the rest of my cards because I really like having the complete set and having them all together. Um, you know, I know I should probably put him in his own separate like hard protective sleeve and like have him aside. He's double sleeved, so he's safe enough for now. But 
you know, like, would you use like the hard plastics for any of your cards, like above a certain value or ones that you just like particularly think are like super cool? Um, would you get any of your cards graded? You know, like we actually have to like spend the money and send it out and have them professionally graded. And then it would be like in a proper display case with a grading and all that stuff. Like that's kind of some of the stuff that I'm debating now. Cause like the Charizard V max might be kind of cool to have on display as an actual graded card. Um, so, and hopefully I get a couple others that are worth grading, but yeah. So let me know, comment below and I'll see you guys in the next one.